our character from Maya into Unity. For this, you need a mesh, you need a skeleton, and you need the mesh to be skinned to the skeleton. When you export using the FBX format, you can either select your mesh, choose File, Export Selected, and it will export the mesh here. So now I have my T stance. We have a previewer here in the inspector when I select that FBX file. In case you are seeing thumbnails like this, you can just drag the slider to make it a little easier to see all the names. In the inspector, you can see we have a rig tab and an animation tab. The rig tab is where we will define this character skeleton as being one that we can retarget animation onto. To do that, for example, you'll see that the upper spine and one of the joints in the torso has not been defined. So we need to work out whether or not this is the best layout for our character. Is it better to have this particular joint as the chest joint, or is it better to have a higher up one? If a joint is not defined, no animation will be associated to it. We can also define as of retargeting, we're going to use a different character, an animation file, and then within Unity, we're going to apply this animation onto our goalie character. So just to see what we have within Maya, we have our T-stance at the start, we have an idle, idle look around, and then finally a walk. In this case, I'm going to select, make sure we're happy with the definition. You'll notice he's also forced into a solid T-stance. Okay, everything looks fine for now. We'll just go with this. And now let's check our animation on this guy. It's great. It's the idle. I had a look around and the walk. Great. So what we can do is we can rename this clip. Currently it's called Take One and if we scroll down in the inspection